we're about 10,000 feet here, um, close to the trailhead, and real thin crust from a really minor refreeze last night. We've had two nights of cloudy skies before refreezes, and e pen boot pen is just to the bottom. It's all getting sloppy here, really wet, grains to the ground. Just in our drive-in, we could see a couple um, natural avalanches happening where we're seeing both wet slab and wet loose avalanches, especially on these shadier aspects that haven't been seeing direct sunlight. Um, they haven't been seeing the intense warming that some of the southerly aspects have. Um, early morning and it's not re and it's not frozen then it just tells me to stay off of steep terrain so we don't have to worry about wet slabs or wet loose avalanches. And the quality sucks. So my Gibson Ridge here, northeast aspect, below tree line. Uh, natural wet slab above me here. Not a huge pocket, not a uh, huge slope, but you can see this debris is nothing you want to mess with. It's like cement and big and problematic when you caught it. Uh, this slide probably ran either today or yesterday. So I'm here at the Crown, uh, about 20 inches of snow, wet, weak snow, and then at the bottom, super wet, super weak facets from early season. Now all this is saturated, and that's why we're seeing once these facets get wet, they can collapse. And even though this doesn't have a whole lot of cohesion to it, it's still breaking as a wet slab. A uh, couple key points is, you know, we're seeing the signs of instability, unsupportive snow, we're seeing naturals. Those are all signs to stay off a steep train like this. And we need to see a good refreeze before we start, before we stop worrying about this, or at least we need to see it run its course. And then we gotta watch higher elevations because we know the structure exists higher up in elevation. We just haven't quite seen the rapid warming up there yet on the northerly aspect. So this is a good um, preliminary indicator slope. And once we start to go later in the spring or even the next few days, we may see this stuff um, start happening a little higher elevation. Similar natural here, except this one started more as a point release and fanned out as it went down. Same story though, big heavy debris piles. You don't want to mess with this kind of stuff and it's running to the ground now, down here. 